Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Now today we're featuring a car which a lot of you guys have been asking me to feature for a while and that is of course the Audi S3 8P generation. Now I'm joined today of course with the owner who's a chap called Chris from the YouTube channel Cars with Smithy. I will introduce you to him very shortly but this is no standard S3 for that matter. It's running a stage 2 plus software by again Artec. Seems to be most cars that I film nowadays are tuned by those guys. It's running approximately 360 brake but Chris will go into all the details very shortly but I'm very excited to experience one of these because well it's almost like a modern classic nowadays. You don't see them especially with the floods of newer S3s and Golf R's and things like that. So so yeah, let's get stuck in. I'll introduce you to Chris, the owner, and uh, yeah, we'll go see what this thing has to offer. Chris, mate, welcome to the channel. Thanks for having um, me. It's been a long time coming that we were going to do this video. Yeah, we've talked about it for a while, haven't we? We have indeed, but uh, it's good to finally, well, it's good to finally meet you and uh, get this thing on the channel. So like I mentioned in the intro, stage two plus. Yep. Uh, it's an 8P as well, which obviously I've never filmed, um, and you just don't see many of them. Yeah, well. they're a bit of a rarity. You don't see too many around nowadays, do you? Oh, indeed. And you've had this car for quite a while, right? Six and a half years. It'll be seven years in August that I've had it, so it's yeah, it's quite a while. <laughs> and you bought it stock? Yeah, bought it stock, bought yeah. It stock. So bought it stock. It's a DSG. Yep. Um, I was looking around initially at manuals, but yeah, kind of went for a DSG in the end. But yeah, got it from stock. It's now running a Stage 2 Plus DSG map from Artec. Um, it's got their motorsport map on the DSG as well, so it's a bit more aggressive on launches and things like that. Um, but yeah, in terms of modification, so got the Revo intake, got some Viz high pressure fuel pumps, um, and then it's got the RS4 return valve in there as well, which they have to modify just to get a bit more fuel through it. Yeah. Um, got Artec's own custom heat shield on the back as well, just to keep the intake temps down as much as possible. Um, and then just to kind of complement that and finish it off, it's got a Cobra full DCAT non res exhaust as well. Nice. So. That's it, so in terms of really top performance, um, just to kind of tidy the engine up, we've got the TTS engine cover, because um, normally the engine cover on this has got the intake in it, so by the time you swap that over, you've then got an exposed engine, so it's got the yeah. TTS engine cover as well. It looks um, smart as well, it's yeah. mint. <laughs> I try and look after it, yeah. I bought it on, I think it's 43,000 miles, it's now done just show of 90K, so. Yeah. Yeah, I've tried to look after it as best yeah, as no, possible, really, but yeah. Really clean. And then moving on to kind of exterior mods, so got the honeycomb grill on the front, you um, have to paint the crash bar behind these as well because they're silver so it just looks a bit better and ties it up. Um, and then I've had the fog lights around and then this sort of trim at the bottom, that's been painted gloss black as well. Um, and then the front bumper got repainted recently as well so it all just kind of smiles it up a little bit and got rid of a few stone chips. Brilliant. Uh, moving around to the side, so wheels, brakes and suspension, we've got the Team Dynamics Pro Race 1.2s uh, wrapped in Michelin PS4s. Um, the brakes are stock at the moment. Um, yeah, that's kind of the next thing, and I know yeah. people in the comments <laughs> are saying you've got to get your brakes done, which will be the next thing. Yeah. Um, just trying to find the sort of the money for that and get a, a decent setup and work out what's suitable for it. Yeah. Um, and then we've got some H and R lowering springs as well. So they've got adaptive dampers on this one. So there's a button on the dash you can press, which firms up all four corners. Oh, wicked! So I didn't really want to change to coilovers because that'll yeah. kind of lose that feature, which yeah. we'll show show you when we get out in the car. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it handles really well. So it's a Quattro, so four wheel drive. Yeah. So. Um, got black mirrors on it as well, that actually came with a car, I thought it was yep. part of a black edition which is what this is. Okay. Um, so you've got window tints and like, the, the grill would normally be black but I've swapped mm. it anyway. Um, Heco wind deflectors. Uh, and then move around to the side, kind of got the, the Quattro sticker on the back, on the, re the rear side skirt there. It looks really clean, really yeah. clean. I spent a bit of time cleaning it. It's <laughs> yeah. um, good that you look after it as well. Yeah, I try to. And then obviously you've got the RTX sticker just to show who's yeah. mapped it. Painted the diffuser on the bottom, gloss yep. black as well, and then just the black badges, and then just a killer wiper set as well. Wicked. And then that's the, I think it's a three inch slash cut from yep. Cobra. It's the biggest exhaust tips that you can get. Love um, <laughs> I was a bit, bit unsure at first, but I think it looks pretty good to be yep. fair. So, so and it sounds the business the, as well. The power numbers, so it's 362. 362 brake horsepower and 399 foot pounds of torque. So Wicked. I've done a few drags and stuff, and it does not 60 in about four seconds, but that's before okay. the motorsport map. So. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we might, so you've we might, recently had it mapped? Yeah, I had it, Again. had it mapped last summer. That was the engine map and then literally three days ago. So you'll be the first person oh, to actually sweet. see this. And I've not even launched it myself yet. So oh, okay. we Fair might enough. do some launches today and see what times we get. I've got a drag in the car so we can have a nose at that as well. So Definitely. 
yeah. become more prepared than me because I left mine at home. <laughs> yeah, I bought a draggy for my own channel, so and just it's kind of intriguing to see what numbers you get. So that's it. Yeah, it's always good fun. Just go. Yeah, and, and with this, fun. I've I've gone stock stage one, stage two plus. So yeah. each of those, I've kind of got to to okay. build it up and see what different times we get as well. And obviously, so. like I mentioned as well, you've got your own channel as well. Yeah, so uh, a lot of the content is my ADS three. I do yeah. a few features as well, and I've just bought a new car, which I think by the time this will go on. Um, that'll kind of be revealed as well. So I've got Clear 182 as well. So nice. yeah, I've got loads of content. Plan on doing a few track days. I know a few good guys that go down and do a few track days and stuff like that. So yeah. brilliant. You're making it into a bit of a track car, yeah. Yeah, the Clear will be a track car. Nice. This I'm, I'm too scared to take on track because yeah. it's my pride and joy, and I don't want to smash it up. But <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> brilliant. Well, I'll put all your links down in the description yeah. uh, for you guys to check out. And uh, anyway, I think with that said, I think we're far up. Go cool. for a quick drive. Let's go for a drive. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> it does pull well, yeah. So, 360 brake, that feels quicker than 360. Yeah, I, yeah. I think that as well. It's what I mean, like, in terms of, like, drivability in cars. Mm. Like, 360 doesn't sound like a fat lot, but I think, like, the way that Nikki maps my Artec and things like that yeah. means that, although, like, pub numbers, it doesn't sound great, saying that you've got, like, 360, but in terms of drivability and yeah. stuff like that. I mean, you'll see it now. No, the way it puts your power down. Like when you're at 50% throttle, it feels like that's 100%. Yeah. And then you put your foot down. And then it's got the, <laughs> and because it's the, obviously the DSG, you get like the click down as well. Yeah. Or kick down, I think yeah, they call it, down, don't yeah. know. So you get yeah. that extra click at the bottom of your pedal. Mm. And like you, when you kind of do that, you just get a whole lot more power <laughs> out of it as well. So, and it just pulls in every gear. Yeah. I mean, all the way up to kind of breaking the little kind of speed limits it's just mm. constantly pulls and pulls and pulls and pulls so. the way that it delivers its power makes it feel a lot quicker than yeah. what it is exactly yeah and like i said i mean you say to someone that you've got a 360 brake car because of all the mark 7 golf r's yeah. and things it doesn't sound like a lot but for no. these i suppose it is really. it is yeah yeah i think mm -hmm. this kind of generation of cars have been overlooked a little bit oh, in terms of like the Golf R's and the RS3's they even they, they do an RS3 in this version as well yeah um, and I think they've kind of overshadowed it just a little bit and, I mean I know of some serious builds yeah of RS3's and S3's yeah this generation. yeah yeah like serious power like yeah, 800 with, plus with hybrid turbos and things yeah. like that you can get yeah. some real good power and some good numbers out of it but I mean I don't think I'm at the point now where I don't think I need anything more than this because yeah. it is just so quick and you can just reach the speed limit probably too quickly as it mm -hmm. is. So I think kind of around the 300, 400 brake horsepower is, is in more than enough for UK roads anyway a lot of the time. Yeah, so. yeah true. I was going to ask you about the turbo actually because obviously Stage 2 Plus is everything apart from the turbo basically. Yeah, so it's the KF4 uh, turbo. It's yeah. kind of at the, you can probably squeeze an extra 20 brake horsepower out of it I think. Mm -hmm. um, so you can get the uh, you can get a front mounted cooler which will give it a bit more power. Yep. Um, obviously keep the temperatures down as well in sort of hotter days, but mm. it's still a safe amount of power anyway. Obviously yeah. Nicky Arset knows exactly what he's doing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you can get, I think the most that's ever come out of one is 390, I think. Okay. From a stock KO4 yeah. around 390, yeah, but 360 to 380 is kind of where it's at for them really. So. Yeah. Really nice sensible. tone of the exhaust as well. Yeah, it's it kind of a little bit droning on motorways, but when mm. you're booting it, I haven't got any over or anything mapped into it. It's just yeah. kind of got the bangs when you're changing gear. Yeah. But I mean, you'll see in some of the flybys, it sounds sounds the business. So. <laughs> <laughs> just keeps on going. It does. That's probably that new DSG map that yeah, uh, Arteca put on it. But it's what I mean, it just pulls and pulls. Yeah. 
<laughs> Something about the bangs when you yeah. change gear as well. No, it's definitely not short of power. <laughs> no. Definitely not short. This is what of power. I mean. It's, it's almost unusable. You can just yeah. still do the speeds that we're doing so easily, isn't it? Mm. But still, it's not struggling for grip or anything. Obviously, nope. you've got full set of Michelins on there. Yeah. Um, it's all wheel drive, typical yep. quattro system. It does wheel spin occasionally, but yeah. normally if there's a bit of sort of loose uh, dirt on the ground or a mm. bit of water, that's the only time I've only had the traction light on about four times, I think, and it's not, <laughs> really? it's not often it comes on yeah. here. So. And then Just you've got a, this adaptive damper button that I mentioned earlier. Uh, so yeah. I think they call it magnetic ride, I think. Yeah. You press that and you probably feel now it's a little bit lip bumpier as well. Bumpy, so. yeah. Sometimes good, sometimes kind of chucks you around a little bit too <laughs> yeah. much, but when you're kind of having like an enthusiastic driver, if you like, it's, yeah. it definitely helps out. map is no joke from Arctic. Yeah, that's the one you just had done. Yeah, it's the, they call it the motorsport map, I think it is. Yeah. Uh, I think the gears are a bit more readily available and it's just a bit more sort of bitey when you're coming out of gears as well. Yeah. So you got to get your golf pad pulling like this. Oh, soon. mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm falling behind. <laughs> if you can get the power down in it, it'll be absolutely brilliant. So. Yeah, mind you, it's front wheel drive, so it's a bit... Yeah, I think in summer days, so I think you'll be, you'll be all right. <laughs> I mean, there is, there is no wheel spin at all. The traction light was flashing the teeny tiniest bit then, yeah. but that was literally it. I mean, you, as a passenger, you probably never noticed it at nah, all, nah, did you? not at all. Very much so point and shoot, but in a good way. Yeah. It's just reliable. Yep. This is why I can't bring myself to sell it. I've looked at, mm. um, at one point I was doing a lot of miles and I was spending quite a lot of money on fuel. Yeah. So I thought, I was looking at a Golf for GTI. Okay. Um, and it just didn't really make the kind of noise and it wasn't that. Mm. It was the Mark 7 GTI I looked at and it wasn't yeah. that aggressive, I suppose. Mm -hmm. And that's before I had this mapped. And then oh, okay, yeah. I was looking at getting, so I stopped doing as many miles and I was tempted then by a A45 AMG. Nice. Not the most recent one, uh, the model before that. Yeah. That's it, yeah. Um, and I think it was like, I didn't owe it, didn't have anything left to pay on this at the time. Mm. And I think that was up for like 25 grand. I was like, I couldn't justify that extra money to pay for a car like that. Yeah. And then I started watching a lot of people on YouTube and kind of learned a bit more about remaps and Artec, etc. And they just yeah. kind of put the money into this instead. So yeah, well, you definitely made the right. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, you, like you said earlier, you just don't see them, and that's what makes it more well, more appealing in a way. I, I suppose. think so. Yeah, It'd be interesting to see how many of these are registered in the UK now. I don't think there's as many, and they're not. Some of them aren't that well looked after either. Yeah, there's I quite a lot of manuals knocking them. around as yeah, well. And yeah. I think they facelifted these in, on a 59 or a template, I think it is. Okay, yeah. Um, so th this is a facelift as well, so it kind of looks a bit newer as well, I suppose, if you yeah. like, and they change the dash, um, front bumper, rear bumper, etc. things like yeah. that. So it just kind of still looks quite smart, I think. Mm. No, it's aged really well. Yeah. It really has. Right, launch time. Got yep. the drag all set up. I'll reset it as we come to a stop. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> That's 60. 4.4. <laughs> Was it a 4.4? That's still okay. quick though. We've got some heat into the gearbox now, so yeah, I reckon on a, another run we might get a bit. I've we'll done do a four one. in it. Yeah, we'll do another one. We'll yeah. do another one, why not? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's 60. 4.1. 4.1. Close enough. Yeah. Mate. Yeah, the pops as well at the yeah. end. Jeez. Mate. Well, I think that's I think, a pretty good way to... Uh, yeah, I think it will span a little bit, didn't it? But, it did yeah. a little bit, yeah. But it's still 4.1. I mean, it's, it's the roads are pretty damp. It's rained a little a bit, so... Yeah, it's greasy as anything. On but. a hot summer's day, well, relatively warm sort of summer's day. Yeah. I think yeah. definitely be getting under four, so... Yeah, well, that's the target. That, that is the target, <laughs> yeah. 
Brilliant. Well, like I said, I think that's going to wrap things up. Again, massive shout out to yourself. Yeah, and, uh, thank you for having me. I'll leave your YouTube link down in the description down below. But uh, wicked, that's going to wrap things up for me today. I hope cool. you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures still to come.